Hello Blender friends and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to go over Blender 2.5 materials. Uh, so this is just the basics. Uh, we'll go over how to uh, change uh, the color of a cube uh, and kind of make it invisible and we'll play around with some different stuff. Also uh, you can go to form.nistic.com if you have any questions, comments, or anything. Uh, go there. We have some uh, cool contests. We have speed modeling contests. Uh, we have several uh, collaborations and projects you can join. Some someone's working on a Star Wars um, fan film. There's also a little zombie film that we just started. Uh, so check those out. Um, also go to chat.nistic.com uh, if you want to chat to some of our users. You get a quick question. Um, that you wanted to ask uh, there's people always there uh, that can help you alright so let's go ahead and open up Blender uh, we have our default cube in the center of the screen now we need to go over to the right over here over where you see this little uh, sphere red thing uh, here which is the material tab. so we click on that and we're presented with a bunch of different options so, uh, there's first off the preview option. Uh, this is uh, pretty helpful. Basically, you don't have to render uh, the thing just to preview what the material on it looks like. Um, so, any materials or whatever we create will kind of be previewed in this area right here. Um, so, you have several objects that you can uh, kind of put the material on. We have a flat plane. We have a kind of smooth UV sphere here. Uh, we have a cube. We have a monkey. Um, we have kind of hair particles here. This is really helpful when you're texturing uh, hair. And we kind of have a smooth UV sphere with a kind of background. So um, whatever you're working on, uh, right now we're just going to kind of put add materials to a cube here so we probably want to get the closest uh, to what we're looking at here so which is just a cube so let's say we want to change uh, the color of the cube from this default gray color uh, it's fine if we're just modeling but we, we want to add some uh, spice to our cube so all you have to do and blender 2.4 and below you'd have to adjust a bunch of sliders uh, and stuff but here uh, you have the preview color right here all you have to do is click on it and it brings up just about all the options we need uh, so we have the sliders like we had before we have this nice little color wheel uh, which basically every single color you can use uh, you can choose from right here so move the little picker over here into the blues uh, we can move it over to the greens and we can move it over to the reds and you can see down here uh, the color is changing this is the actual color right here um, also if you have a particular uh, color um, that you have the hex code for you can just paste it right in here so you can actually um, get that from different images and you might just have the hex code uh, it was a little more difficult to enter it in 2.4 uh, but now you just paste it right in here uh, so we can select uh, any kind of color we want so let's say we want to turn it down to a kind of red um, color so we'll adjust the sliders make it a little redder here so we have a nice nice bright red cube alright so we just click out of that and boom you can see in the preview menu here what it looks like and kinda gives you a kinda representation uh, over here in the 3d section so we hit F12 render it, and we have a nice red cube so I'll hit escape to get out of that there are tons of different options in the material section here um, I couldn't even it would be a very long tutorial if I went over uh, all of them so 
I encourage you just to go over here and play with all the options and see what they do. Um, there's anything from uh, you can make like a mirror or um, there's tons of options you can get just about every imaginable texture um, to wood to skin to a plasticky um, there's uh, libraries you can find on Google which just have tons of uh, different uh, textures and materials that, uh, that have been preset so let's play with another thing here you can let's say we want to make this red cube halfway uh, invisible so uh, alpha it goes from 0 to 1 and it's just how uh, transparent uh, it is 1 is not transparent at all 0 is you can't even see it it's completely gone so if we set this to something like 0.5 uh, and hit F12 you can see it's like halfway see through so there's uh, plenty of options that you can go uh, through here and uh, in you can see the preview there um, uh, there's plenty of options here and in n newer tutorials or other tutorials we're going to go over uh, how to make uh, specific materials and set the settings there like uh, we can do glass uh, and other uh, things like that so I hope you learned a little bit uh, in this tutorial and learned how to kind of change the color uh, of your cubes and you can mess around with the uh, materials tab and kind of figure out uh, what kind of uh, effects you can get in there. Well that's it for this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to check out super3.org uh, to see what I'm doing, see the latest tutorials. Uh, we'll have some mini text tutorials that you can check out in there uh, and some free models as well. So I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial. This is Super3Boy signing out.